when uh, when we think about water, when we first come to the water, we offer tobacco, which is what we just did. We gave thanks for the water this morning. We sang sang song for the water also. The sound of the water that when when the water hits the water, or the raindrops hitting the water, they make a sound. We just listen. Beautiful, beautiful sound that they make as they combine combine the elements with each other from the from the earth to the earth from the sky realm. And uh, the whispering of the water is beautiful. Just to hear it dropping on the earth. And so we uh, really need to think, especially as as women as life givers that we understand the meaning of the water and how uh, it gives life just the way women give life we honor our mother the earth as a life giver too and we really need to take care of her the way she's taking care of us taking care of us now she's having a lot of turmoil going through a lot of pain and uh, unable to feed her children in other other parts of the world and she's really suffering she's really crying out for us to help her she's helped us all these years all these uh, hundreds and thousands and millions of years she's been beautifully giving us part of her life as her water and now it's our turn to take care of her and really 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 fight for her her beauty so that she can be forever forever giving us of this water, especially the next uh, generations to come, that they've yet to come, that they need, they need the world, need the water for them to, to give themselves nourishment and health and, uh, and uh, to drink, because we all need the water to drink. So we have to uh, honor the water and take care of it. And we love that water and uh, give it respect. The water's been so contaminated, especially in areas of uh, uh, small lakes that have been uh, that are not moving; they're just dying and uh, dying because of no movement. The water's not moving anymore, and we have to find ways to move that water again to see if uh, wake up Mother Earth and uh, and ask her what we can do to for her to to start moving. Because if the water stops stops moving, then it's, uh, it, it starts to dry up and then it, uh, it evaporates, goes somewhere else, we don't know where it's going. So we have to really understand what we can do to move that water, to, to get it to move, to get it to wake up, to wake up Mother Earth. And many times when I've, uh, when I've seen water like that, I've knelt right into the water and, and asked Grandmother and Mother, Mother Earth to, to wake up. Which means, wake up, Mother Earth. Teach me how to, how to help you, to, to bring you back to health. So we need to really uh, speak to the water as if it was alive, and it is alive. Water is alive. We know that. We know that for a fact. We've always known that. But just like any animal, like the animals, the trees, the plants. They all have, uh, they all have life, and uh, they need the water. And we need, we need the water. The water needs us to, to help it. So there's many ways that we can do that. And so, um, so much for women to to do to to honor the water. And many women don't know what to do. It's very easy to go to the water and, and speak to it and offer tobacco and sing or whatever. Whatever you can to, to speak to the water and, uh, and really respect it every every day if you can. And at home when you when there's no water, you can always there's water you can use to honor it in the morning to lift it, lift it to the sky rock and, and give thanks for, for the water before you drink it and then give some to Mother Earth and then drink it. So that's. Uh, that's how you honor the water when, when you're in the city and you're not close to water like this beauty of this water is really incredible. And uh, 
as women, there's so much to learn about the water, as women especially, that women say they don't know what to do, they don't know how to take care of the water. What they're doing is they're taking care of themselves, they're respecting themselves. And that's one way of learning, learning how to respect the water. Know how you're using it, are you wasting it, are you uh, making it use, use of it? Any water that you're not using, good water, is it going into the drain? Are you recycling it? Are you giving it to Mother Earth first? There's many things that you can do about water. And so, um, I don't know, it's, it's really something that really uh, needs to be... Uh, It's like learning to uh, learning to get acquainted with something or somebody, and that's what we do with water. What we need to do with water. For me, I've lived by water all my life, and I know what water is. Water is respected and respecting it and loving it. And so we uh, need to understand that and give life to the water within ourselves. So I'm getting really wet.